update today. The Mechman <clears throat> 200 amp alternator is going in. This guy right here. Had it sitting in the box for probably two or three weeks. Um, the way they package it is really nice because they put all the bubble wrap around it like this and then they put bubble wrap around this box and put it in another box so it's double bubble wrapped two layers of cardboard so hell even if somebody dropped it it'd still be safe and unscratched okay here is the stock alternator 105 I think peak it might be 105 or 110 peak 80 ish idle um, small case and you'll see here Charges at 13.9, 13.8. Okay, was having a little trouble getting the alternator in, um, but called Matt up, answered in about 10 seconds. Talked to him was a good uh, probably 10 minutes, real helpful. Um, so I bored out that hole a little bit with a unibit right here on the impact. Um, Got the mech man right here let me show it up next to the little baby of a stock alternator i had there's the baby 105 amp 200 amp sounds like a 70 or 80 idle 125 idle i think 120 idle something like that so i'm getting more amperage at idle than i was at that at 1200 or 2000. okay the alternator's in Gonna get it all wired up. Been using this little guy, this little uh, keyboard cleaner, to keep all the metal shavings off the belt and the uh, pulleys. Um, so, gonna get this all wired up. So, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, alternator's fully in, belt on, um, all the wires connected up to the battery. You can see zero gauge negative going around to there, zero gauge positive along with the factory positive from the alternator just to be safety safe. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and crank her up. I have the voltmeter out right now just due to the fact that I disconnected. That was the wire from my voltmeter. Wire in reality was too thin so I was replacing it and just cut it while I was putting all the wires back on. So I'm going to use that guy to get the voltage on zero right now because of course the probes aren't connected. But I'm going to go ahead and start my truck up. Remember it's sitting at, it's probably early in this video, sitting at 13.8, 13.9. Okay, of course, y'all kind of saw, dumb like I am, forgot to put the little four pin connector in. So basically, I had the two zero gauges done, but I didn't have the little four pin deal. The same thing that goes, where is it? It's on here somewhere. That guy right there, the little snap in four pin thing. Well, at least it's a four pin for my truck. It's, I think it's three for others, or might be something. It's all different. But. Okay, round two. Charging voltage is up.
Okay, as y'all can see, I was getting about 14, 3, 3, 3, 4, which is about 0.5 volts, 4 volts, 0.4 volts higher than stock. And when you get higher voltage, your amps require less draw. That's what I'm using mine for. Um, big amplifiers uh, for subwoofers and speakers and stuff like that. But more voltage, less current draw, so that helps out a bunch, plus the extra amps. Um, called Matt a few times. Every time, extremely helpful, extremely nice. So uh, if you got any issues with voltage drop, just go ahead and uh, contact Mechman Alternators, and they'll get you fixed up. And also a nice two-year warranty on your alternator. Some some places that do high outputs only give one year. They give two. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap this video up.